Hello guys, my name is Mickey the Rat, and I'm going to be playing Jagged Alliance 2. Now, I tried to play this uh, before it came out really blurry, and my uh, the volume wasn't very good. You can barely hear me. Um, I'm gonna. I can't do anything about how blurry it is. It's just the way the game is, I guess. And also, the screen looks a little small, even though it's full screen on my end. When I come when it comes out recorded, it looks really small, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna try and explain what's going on. If you can't see it, you probably can. You probably can. When I look it over, you couldn't see it. Uh, yeah. So let's dive right in. Um, just do these options. Eh. All right, I was going to do it on experienced, but um, after playing around with that, I decided no. Actually, fuck it, I'll do it anyways. Extra difficulty, blah 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 blah. blah. I don't really care. Yes, that's the only thing I actually change. Let's do that. Awesome. Just so I can get all the cool guns really really early on. Alright, I'm gonna try to shut up for this cutscene. And it's really loud. And yeah, enjoy. Approaching waypoint, Charlie. Left column, please advise. Left column, please advise. Make it call. I was happy to hear you have decided to take the assignment. No doubt your inquiries have shown that I, Enrico Chivaldori, speak the truth. In the past ten years, since killing my father and framing me, my wife has inflicted great suffering upon my people. Those that may be of value to her are imprisoned, beaten and tortured. The old, the sick, even infants with birth defects are removed swiftly from the population. Now it is time to remove her. I have brought the money you requested. It is everything I have. However, Arulco is full of gold and silver, and you might be able to convince the miners to help us in the struggle. There also exists a small but determined rebel movement. They are led by a man named Miguel Cordona. If you can locate Miguel, I have written a letter for you to give him. I believe he will accept you and prove to be an invaluable ally. I wish you luck, my friend. And here we go. Alright, the gist of that was... There is a third world country named Al Ruko, And the king, or whatever... Um, Enrico Givaldori was framed well, was framed for killing his father. And then I think. Then uh um his wife took over. I know that uh Enrico faked his own death. And yeah, I've never actually beaten this game. What the fuck is that? I've never actually beaten this game 
I've gotten really close, maybe like the last city, and then I just stopped because well, other stuff, other games came out that I wanted to play. My friends are just fucking bitches and won't let me sit up, sit alone for a little bit. Anyways, yeah. So this is our computer, and our, you have an email from Psych Pro Inc. This is telling us that we can make our own little personal uh, mercenary uh, for three thousand bucks. All they do is put in a little code. Yeah, I say mercenary because, uh, well, in this game, uh, you are in. Con you're the commander of a squad of mercenaries or many squads you have, you have up to three squads of six and that's you know who you control in this game now there are also militia who are your allies your played fire emblem they're basically the green units and so you have no control over them but you can give them orders about what to do I don't really like to do that as let them do with their own do stuff on their own I mean. and then there are the enemies who are uh, the Queen's soldiers, and I can't remember her name right now. It's weird. Anyway, uh, with the mod I'm playing, version 1.13, I can create up to six of my own personal mercenaries. Now that is very overpowered because, in my opinion, because you can, uh, you don't have to pay them to stick around. No normally, um, you only make one of them, which is okay. And it's usually a leader, that's what I usually do. Anyways, now other mercenaries, you have to pay them a certain amount of money every day or so, every month, every day or week, or whatever, whatever you want to do with them. And they stick around. Which is all fine and good. And if they die, they could have some consequences with other mercenaries. Like, you don't want to work for a guy who's lost, like, an entire squad in one mission. That'd be stupid. So it's best not to let anyone die. But I doubt I'll be able to go through the entire game without someone dying on me. Alright, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to make three people. Uh, what's his last name be? Med... Yep. Gotta go with that. Okay, appearance. They all look kind of stupid. Why not? We have some inconveniences to dispose of. Time to take out the trash. I hate the voices for these characters in this game. Oh, no, that's, that's good. And I'm going to make him have a black shirt. Black pants. And what the fuck? Is that green? Whatever. This is good. Oh shit. Damn it. Time for the enemy we time to take out the trash. I hate that. Okay. Moving on. Character. You don't have to choose any of these. They all have their uh, advantages and disadvantages. I said in my last time I recorded this. And I don't know. I always like to give them one, you know, good thing. And since I'm always around people, I like sociable. Uh and then I never really choose these. These are just weird. Okay, skills. And you can choose three of these. It's better to choose two, but I'm gonna choose three anyways, I don't give a fuck. Actually... Dude, I usually do. And then dude, you need, if you choose two here, you can get two here. And I'm pretty sure that if you don't do any, you can get like four here. I didn't know that because it didn't show up down here. Until like, last time I played the game, I figured that out. I always choose athletics because that's the best, in my opinion, moving around. Hmm. Hmm. It's 
pretty cool. I don't want to do the one character. Teaching. Yes, I need that. Because Mickey here is going to be the leader. Oh. Yeah. Because I like making myself the leader. This <laughs> will never lead anyone in my life. Eh. Leadership up. Agility down a little bit so I can get this all the way up. I don't need any of this. So I get 30 more points to spend. Yay. Marksmanship all the way up. Um, leadership pretty high up. There we go. That's good enough. Finished. Now I'm going to do this... Um, Two more times. I'm gonna make two more extra characters, like I did my last time I recorded this. And same people. So I'll come back once I'm done doing that. All right, I'm back. I just made my other two two mercs that I'm gonna be using, probably the entire game. Cody Butt, A.K.A. Kodak, and I'm your faggot or target. Yeah. He's got a earring in his left ear. Whoa, what a gay. Anyways, the other uh, way to hire mercenaries is to go here. Usually you'd have to do this. Alright. Oh, hey, cool. Bull. Let me see this. <laughs> he comes with an automatic weapon, which I really like. I might hire him. There's MD. He's good for being a cheap medic. Igor is really fucking good. Barry, I've never used. Grizzly. I just like. He has a key comes with a golden desert eagle. Come on. You know what? I wanna hire both Grizzly and Bull. Yeah, what do you how long are we talking about here? There we go. And Bull. Contact. Yes? Yes. I'll be there. Thank you. Alright. We're coming close to the end of the episode, so I'm just gonna end it here. When we come back. Close all of this. We'll actually start taking over Alruko.